My name is Benjamin Planck. I work at the Institute of Marine Research in Tromsø. And the poster I have here is uh, the result of a work we did uh, as part of a project called Barents Sea Ecosystem Resilience Project. And uh, it's entitled Ecological Resilience for Ecologists. It's an interactive poster. And the idea is that when we start working on ecological resilience, we have to deal with many concepts. Uh, and these concepts are not always clear. Uh, not always well defined, uh, not always understood in the same way by different people. So what we did in this poster is to try to organize uh, these different concepts along two axes. Uh, one axis uh, separates concepts that are uh, useful in quantitative ecology. We can relate them to specific metrics. They are conceptually precise and they are descriptive of the uh, of ecological properties of the system. And on the other side, uh, we have concepts that really don't apply to this category, so they are often uh, more transdisciplinary. They are conceptually vaguer, or they can be normative. That means that uh, they are describe good or bad things rather than uh, descriptive, which would be, for example, high and low. So that's the first axis. And the second axis is for these concepts that we could use in ecological, in quantitative ecological research. These can describe structural properties. So for example, taxonomic diversity in a system is a structural property. Or they can be related to dynamic properties. For example, a tipping point uh, is a dynamic property. So the way it works uh, when people come and uh, visit this poster is we, we have a number of uh, terms which are related to these concepts. And uh, we can discuss the meaning of these terms. And people have to place the term in the area of the map that they think is the correct one. Uh, we've done it with uh, a number of uh, people at the conference. Uh, it's quite interesting. Uh, my uh, first feeling of the, the result of this is that, uh, let's say, a, a small half of these terms are not very well known to the, uh, to the ICES community, or at least they can be understood in very different ways. Uh, and I, I have done the experiment five or six times uh, so far. And we end up with quite different maps. So uh, I think there's a lot of uh, discussions to go in, in ICs about resilience and all the terms associated with it.